Give a Latina a cafecita, she'll run with it. Uh, no, that's right. <laughs> we are in New York City with actress and activist Diane Guerrero, who you can catch starring as Maritza Ramos in season four of Netflix's hit series, Orange is the New Black. You were born in New Jersey, you mm -hmm. uh, grew up in the Boston area, you're Colombiana. When you were age 14, something very tragic happened. Your, your parents were deported, your older brother was deported back to Colombia. Can you talk about that time, how you were able to survive, and um, how that impacted your life? Well, I mean, I think first and foremost, my parents were strong people, and they were loving people, and they were especially loving parents to me, and they've always have instilled that strength in me so I mean I know that that was a conversation in our home all the time is like this this could be a possibility you know we still haven't um, figured out our situation yet things you know we have to we have to stay strong in case of in case anything happens and so I think the first thing that I did was okay this is happening this is traumatic but who am I gonna who am I gonna call right now? Who 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 can I rely on? And I think the wonderful thing about the Latino community is that you build this like you know you build friends you that that you eventually call family and you find out that there are a lot of people willing to help. I think that right then and there I, I knew I was like okay Diane it's showtime. So now what are you gonna do with your life? I think there's a lot of uh, misunderstanding about immigration and about why people come here, why Latinos come here. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about why your family came to the United States from Colombia? Yeah, my, my family wanted a better life. Yeah. But many immigrants come to this country um, searching for, for the American dream. And you know, unfortunately for my for my family, there you know the path for citizenship wasn't a clear one. And for a lot of people in this country living undocumented, the path for citizenship isn't clear. The fact of the matter is that the immigration system in this country is broken, and it's not going to be solved by deporting 11 million people and tearing apart 11 million families. What what needs to be done is we need to realize that make it a way that people can can apply and, and be able to come here, you, you know, and follow, follow the right path. Well, your character, Mar Maritza Ramos, yes. Orange is the New Black, she's pretty tough. She has a tough edge to her. <laughs> um, is that something that comes from inside? You seem pretty nice and uh, pretty <laughs> easy going. Pretty easy going. But is it something, do you have experiences you draw on? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, growing up in the hood, you know, you, you have to have, you know, and growing up a, as a woman of color, um, in this country, you know, you, 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 draw, you draw some experience. You know, there were moments where I had the opportunity to do right and wrong. I have made mistakes in my life, and I don't think I would be here without those mistakes, but knock on wood, I, there's no wood around me, but if there, <laughs> if there were some, you know, I would say I chose, I chose the right path. What's it like on the set there? Are you, it, it seems like it'd be a big, fun time. Do you have clicks the way that the show has clicks? Um, do you have a lot in common with your castmates? Do you have a lot in common with your, your Latina crew? Oh, absolutely. Are you kidding? Absolutely. I mean, you, you should see, like, when a group of Latinas get together, it's just like, so, yeah, my mom this, my mom that, you know, mi abuelita this or that. You have such... You have such common experiences, the music, the, the food, no matter where you're from in, in yeah. Latin America, you could always find a common bond, and that is rice um, <laughs> and beans. <laughs> it's wonderful to work on Orange is in Black. I mean, such a huge cast of women, and the, just the stories that we're telling are so empowering. I think it offers a way for us to really see the a different side of the story. So we're here at the PNG Orgullosa Living Fabulosa event where you just hosted a panel of Latina role models and mentors. Can you talk to me about uh, what that was like? Actually, I'm just realizing this now, which is funny. I have been living orgullosa and I have been living uh, fabulosa because to me, it's, it's reaching your goals. It's going after your dreams and not taking no for an answer. It has helped me immensely. And hearing um, all these wonderful women's experiences throughout their careers and how they live on, on a day-to-day -day basis to continue on that path. Finally, what advice do you have for that young person out there, maybe that young Latina out there that's facing some real challenges? You overcame mm -hmm. some real hardships. Your family was torn apart by the system. What advice do you have to someone that may be going through something like that? Find someone that inspires you. Go out there, follow their story, know that you're not by yourself, and find, look for resources. Do not stop. There is something out there for you. One door closes, another one will open. I think people need to stay active as much as possible, whether it is in your community, whether it is in your schools, whatever it is, find something that you care about and apply yourself. Hi, my name is Diane Guerrero and you are watching Cafecito. 
there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.